Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and this is the continuation of our videos on the settings app and we'll look at the new Windows 11 battery and power section which is really interesting. It is very nice they have done a good job on that side of things. So right click on your start button, go into settings and here you will be going into power and battery in the system tab. The first thing you'll notice is now there's a graphic that actually shows you the battery usage. So for example in the last 24 hours I have not used the battery in the laptop so it actually shows my levels were always pretty much 100 percent. But we do have some nice graphics that show this now. Um, one of the things that you'll have in here is the screen and sleep options. When you click here, you have the possibility to change the information or the way that your computer behaves. So on battery power, turn off my screen after, in this case, 10 minutes. When plugged in, turn off my screen after, it says 15 minutes. I'll extend that actually because when I am plugged in, I don't really mind that it stays there for a while. On battery power, put my device to sleep after, never. And when plugged in, put my device to sleep after, never. So this, of course, is an option that you might change to save battery. So for example, on battery power particularly, if you want your battery to last as long as possible, you might want to choose an option here to say, well, you know, after an hour of use, do, um, you know, do change this. Uh, to have my device go to sleep because it will, you know, save the battery. And if I forget that it, my computer's turned on, well, at least, you know, it's going to save the battery power for a while. Then you have, of course, power mode here. Power mode is optimize your device based on power use and performance. One thing that is very important, you see here it says power mode can be set. Uh, while high performance plan is used. The computer has its own power plan. Every laptop and every computer manufacturer has a set of power options that they actually will have in their computer with their own settings. And the reason because they know how the computer behaves and what's best for the best battery life possible. And of course, depending on what you do, you might change that. For example, I always used the um, highest performance when I'm actually plugged in because I want to have the computer running at maximum efficiency as fast as possible uh, all the time. But of course, that's something that you want to change when you're on battery because it uses a lot more battery. And when you're on battery, you'll be able to change the plan here of what power mode, what performance you give your computer to extend the battery life once again. Then there's the battery saver, which is off right now here. So you can actually turn a battery saver on automatically at a certain time. And you can lower the screen brightness automatically when power saver is on. Once again, the biggest usage of power on your computer when you're not using it much is the screen brightness. And then there's battery loose usage, <laughs> lucid, yeah, battery usage, which has a more detailed or the same kind of uh, graphic at the top, but a little more. It's bigger and more detailed, and you can choose, you know, for example, last seven days and see if you know what happened. Now here, obviously, in the last seven days, I don't think I have unplugged my laptop. It depends on every week, but you have all sorts of information in this page, and this page is actually much better than what Windows 10 had. And I like the graphic that they added uh, to the battery levels and the battery usage of the laptop. So I have more information about how efficient your computer is with its battery. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.